Since I've been living in Washington, especially since I've been living in Southwest, where I've been living for over a decade, I have become interested in Southwest history and have written a great deal about it. This area was originally meant to be a vibrant waterfront, but the waterfront never found its feet. This whole area was cut off from the rest of Washington by two big canals, bringing all the sewage from all the city flowing directly into two points, one just beyond Fort McNair and one down near the Washington Monument into the Potomac. As you can imagine on a hot summer day, with the garbage flowing into the Potomac, it was increasingly the least desirable place to live in Washington. This is part of what was the largest federal renewal project ever undertaken. It began in the 1950s, and it went on until the 1960s. Southwest was cleared. It was flattened in hundreds and hundreds of acres, and people were pushed out. The way, in fact, we mishandled the process of flattening the Southwest is an original sin on the entire area. And it blights what really is a success that has come out of it. Because this area is the best integrated section of Washington. It has the most public housing in Washington, and it has the most varied income levels. The houses you see weren't built as luxury housing. They were built as middle-class housing. And like all rental housing built before 1975 in Washington, they're under rent control. So they're affordable middle-class housing still today. <laughs>